Happy Chinese New Year, everyone. We have come to London's Chinatown to mark the Year of the Tiger. So let's start the show. Chinatown is located at Leicester Square and it takes up Jared Street and also the other street that runs parallel to this. I forgot the actual name to it, but we will come to it later on. So there is Lunfeng Supermarket. It's really big supermarket that I went to a lot of times in the past. And then they, they have many restaurants on both sides um, and I love the bakeries too <laughs> This is a really busy, busy street at any point in time during the day or night. Uh, they mostly come for the dim sum, but then they also come for the supermarket. They also come for the baked goods. And we are approaching one at the corner, the one that I always go into as well. They do baked cakes. They do baked spring rolls. They do things like that. Um, Wow, it is really busy today. Um, so I guess we should get exploring. Chinatown is centrally located to many different locations like Shaftesbury Avenue and uh, a BT Tower right behind me. This is Lyle Street. They also have loads of restaurants and other shops. These red lanterns are in abundance and they signify the start of the Lunar New Year. How much do you know about Chinese New Year? Here's Paul with a quick guide. The Lunar New Year marks the start of a new lunar cycle. It is the most important and most festive holiday of the year. It's heralded as the world's largest human migration. It is customary to wear the color red. Here's what happens on Lunar New Year. Cleaning of the house. Decoration. Reunion with family on New Year's Eve. Offering sacrifices to ancestors. Fireworks and firecrackers. Giving red lice envelopes to children and unmarried adults. And watching the dragon dance. The celebratory meal is eaten on New Year's Eve. Here are the top seven lucky foods and symbolisms. Ho chicken symbolizes family. The white meat symbolizes purity and serving the entire bird represents unity. Fish symbolizes an increase in prosperity. May you always have more than you need. Chinese dumplings symbolizes bringing in wealth and treasure. The more dumplings you eat during the New Year celebrations, the more money 
you can make in the new year. Spring rose symbolizes a ton of gold, referring to this dish as a carrier of prosperity. Glutinous rice cake or nian gao symbolizes getting higher year after year. This means a general improvement in life with a higher income or position. Sweet rice balls symbolizes family togetherness associated with reunion and being together. Longevity noodles symbolizes happiness and longevity. They are longer than normal noodles and uncut. The longer the better. Mandarins and tangerines are also eaten. They symbolize luck and success. I wanted to wish you a happy Lunar New Year. Gong Ai Fa Choi, Sun Tai Gin Hong, Sun Nin Fai Lo. So, Paul, we're not going to be cooking this Chinese New Year. Instead, we're going to be sampling the street food here in London's Chinatown. What sort of things do you think we might find today? Some cakes, some Swiss rolls, some dumplings. <laughs> My mouth is watering already. Let's see what we can find. Look, people are lining up for the Beijing dumpling. Do you think maybe we should queue up too? Are they queuing up to get in, or is it like a sample? I think they're queuing up to get seated. Oh no, I think we just want some street food. Oh, okay. <laughs> So it looks like we're lining up to go into a bakery. Yep, I think so. Why such the long line? I have no idea. Is this for the speciality that we used to get in New York? You know what I'm talking about. I don't know. I, I don't think so. Oh, that's disappointing. Well, maybe we'll come across the speciality from the old lady of Moscow Street. It was a lovely little bun that was um, baked on the street from her from her little trolley. And we have seen it in London before, but we're not sure if we're going to find it today. We're going to check out this bakery first. Oh look, I think we take one of these. So what's that you've got? The roast pork bun? Roast pork buns? Do you want any of these, um, these baked stuff? Oh, a Swiss roll, perhaps. Which one? The pandan one? Sure. Two? Yeah. Oh, wow. The egg custards. Shall we get, like, like... Shall we get, like, like two? Well, it is Chinese New Year, so yes. Do you want any more buns? Wow, you've really been piling up. What, what on earth is all this? I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm really hungry. <laughs> so we've just come out of the Chinatown Bakery. It's a, oh a my new, God! It's, a new one. it's only opened in the last year. Or something Holy like cow! I've and never been into any one of these ones where you have to queue around holding, holding your tray. And your tongue. <laughs> oh my god, it was like insane. So what have we got here? This is something that I've never tried before. This is a... This is a spring onion roll with chicken on the inside. Mm, not my cup of tea, but where there is Swiss roll and egg custard. Which, this is uh, a panada. Oh, uh, this is a panada. I think it's like pistachio or something. 
Okay. And then there is the roast pork bun. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh, this this brings me back. Uh, so we might be eating this on the way home. Well, some of these things are a little bit messy though. Oh, this is this one is so messy. This one is so it's messy. It's filled with cream, isn't it? It is. I love this one. This one is called Na Yao Bao. And it's basically mean um, cream, a creamed bun, basically. Well, we are a bit hungry right now. We're going to save those for later, but we need to go and find some other street food that we can eat. In right now? Right now in the street. Yeah. Okay, yeah. let's get let's going. Go. Behind me is a place called Jen Cafe. They serve many different types of Chinese dishes and then they also do this bubble tea. Delish. Look, this place called Happy Lemon sells lots of bubble teas as well. Oh, Happy Lemon. And look, I'm focusing in on the milk green tea with taro bowl because that is the one that I always used to get in New York. Shall we get one for old time's sake? What do you think? We could share it. Sure. Well, in you go. Do you want to come in? <laughs> Thanks. Milk tea with the terror ball. Let's give it a go. Oh, wow. So what do we do here? Do we... We shake it all about. And you've got a very large straw. Oh, I see. It's got a sharp end, so we puncture this to me. Yeah. Okay. Off you so go. So one. Don't let it splash all over. Are you sure you shouldn't just take the top off? Maybe we just take them. I don't know whether it comes off. Is this one of these health drinks that it's impossible to get into? Jeez. Shouldn't you sort of like screw it round a bit? Any chance? Do you have something sharp? Oh, I've got my keys. Oh! Oh! Success! <laughs> After how many? Oh my god. Well, this took me like about two minutes. Give it a sip. Oh wow. Oh wow. Can I have a go? I love this tapioca. That's what it is, isn't it? When it says... Um, yeah, balls. balls. <laughs> it's it's ta tapioca balls. Oh wow. Everyone needs to give this a try. Well, can I have a go? Okay, here you go. So, what do mm. you think? I've got all these. I'm actually eating the balls. <laughs> mm. It tastes more tea than, than more green tea than taro. That's what I'll say. Because I think the ones that we got in New York didn't have the green tea in them, did they? I I sort of like it though. I look the top. It's, it's the balls that are flavored. It's the tapioca balls that are flavored with taro, right? Uh huh. Mm. And they're lovely and chewy. Mm. It's quite rich. What I would say is I'm glad we got one to share because I don't think I could drink a whole one. We used to drink a whole one by ourselves. Don't yeah, know. but that was usually in the height of summer, not in winter. You do have a point for that. I mean, you can get them served hot as well. Although I don't think I don't think they taste quite as good. I don't think that that will work. All right, I'll let you finish it off, and we'll go and find something to eat. Okay, let's go. I think we want the Hong Kong egglet. Oh, is that the pastry? Yeah. Ah, so that's what it's called. Do we want the dumplings too? 
Let's go with the um, the pastry first of all. So it's a, a Hong Kong aglet. You want um, dumplings as well? Well, one is hungry. <laughs> okay, let's see how this turns out. And this is from Lin Lin Crepes. Okay, thank you. Okay, time to go. Wow. So here they are. Not only have we got uh, fried dumplings, but we've got the Hong Kong egglets. Aren't they? So basically, these are like mini waffles. Ah, mini waffles. Yes, yes. Waffle balls, something like that. The the lady on Moscow Street used to make these. They were fantastic. Yes, Moscow Street in New York. And you might be wondering why I'm pronouncing it Moscow Street, not Mos Moscow Street. Because in the US, it's pronounced Moscow. Simple as that. So that's what you say if you're in the US. Yeah. Mmm. I can't wait to tuck into this. Dumpling. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Mmm. Good street food for you, Marcus. Oh, yeah. In fact, I don't think we've ever done this in London before. <laughs> no, <laughs> we have not. First time for everything. Mm. Well, hope you are happy eating all this food. Oh, yeah. I'll keep us going till dinner time. Okay. Mm. Nice dumplings. Oh wow. <laughs> so get stuck into your um oh your pastry. Oh my god, look. Look at this. It's basically like Yeah, it's like a waffle. Yeah. And they should really be eaten fresh, shouldn't they? You can't keep them I suppose, but who the hell keeps them? When they're when they're warm. That's, you know, straight out of the griddle. That's when you... Oh wow, look at this. So what's it like? Is it break one open so we can have a look? It's kind of fluffy. Mm. It's hard on the outside and fluffy on the inside. Mm. Here, Marcus. Mm. What do you think? Mm. Just mm. between us squirrel friends. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, they really are so Moorish. They are. Look at this. I think that I should have ordered more. <laughs> How many are there? 40. I don't... I don't know. They just... Whoop, they just come Jeez. in a... They just don't, come in a clump. <laughs> don't drop it. Oh, wow. I feel like a Neanderthal here. You are. <laughs> Okay, happy eating. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, then please subscribe. Well, we've had an absolutely fabulous Chinese New Year oh, amazing. here in Chinatown in London and it only remains for Paul to say one final thing. Gong hei fa choi. Yeah, what he said. See you next time. <laughs> Bye.